Greetings, Dark Souls Guru here. In this amalgamation of slime and villainy are the bosses of Dark Souls 3. We've gathered them here together for a fight to the death to see who's the strongest. But which one will win the Dark Souls 3 tournament? Here we go again with another battle, an epic one, as we see the giant ancient wyvern dragon thing versus Slave Knight Gale of the DLC. Fight! And the embers come blurting out right into Gale's face, and he's marching slowly, ready to fell this beast. But he's been poked! by the massive head of the, the wyvern. He's going straight for the ankles. He knows what to do. It's weak damage because it's such a powerful creature. In the game, it's a gimmick fight. Where he must jump on its head. He's not gonna be able to do that here. And will he change form? The form with the machine gun crossbow. Will he be able to do that? I don't know. So far, the Wyvern can't really hit him. Well, I've got him there with the tail. He's getting most of the hits here. Bashing its feet. Poking it. And he's doing the, more, the most damage so far. That thing hits harder when it does hit him, but it's just an inept creature. It can't get him. Trying to tread on him and missing. It could be blind. But it's flying off. Gets him with embers. Stamping on him. The dragon has such great strength. You have to admire its beauty. Right in the heel for weak damage. He's gonna win this though by the looks of it though. It easily could defeat him. It could just fly up in there and just keep blowing embers on him. But it's a creature, it's too stupid. Hasn't got the keen instincts of man. Baffled. Baffled. Trying to ram its crotch on him, it won't work. Somehow the step got him in a way that the hit detection doesn't work, just like this against the player. Same cheating techniques working on him. He's doing good damage though here. He's too strong. He's flying up, he's gonna burn him. Ooh, that's real powerful when it does those two combinations. But it won't keep doing it, it's too stupid. It's an inept fight. And the dragon might be in the lead slightly though. Eat embers for Gale. Gale, of course. One of the hardest fights in the game, no doubt about it, maybe the hardest. The poisons work well against him, but not much else other than that, just skill. That dragon's not got that kind of skill, and it's not got poison power. Feel the embers and defeat. <laughs> it's a repetitive fight, no doubt about it. He's unleashing the dark energies. And now he's really doing good damage. Unleashing lightning, or is that the dragon? I can't tell. Ramming him with his tail. Dragon. It's in the lead. Doesn't hit him often enough to know. Yes, the dragon's winning. So if Sir Gale can't transform, he's winning. Are you finished, Sir Gale? Falling forth the darkest magic. Massive damage when he does that though, and he's catching up with that now. But the lightning. He's still got a chance here, the dragon's almost killed him. Unleashing dark energies now, spamming, he knows he's in trouble. He's not going out like this against such an inept beast. Look at the damage! Incredible ability from Sir Gale! And he wins the day! 
It's a close one there when he goes through. And we're glad of that because the dragon's kind of boring to watch. Epic as it is. So who will he face in the next round? Click the link for the playlist to watch this whole tournament. And check out the Sekiro Boss Tournament playlist if you didn't watch it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Because we love it.